Hello, welcome. This is Maths Athlete. Today we'll be continuing the topic of coordinate geometry, and today's lesson is equation of a straight line, uh, where the the equation is y equals mx plus c. So to begin with, let's look at the derivation. The derivation. So say we had two points, point A, where it had coordinates zero, c and point B, let's call that point B, which had coordinates x and y. So now let's join up, now let's join the two points to make a line. So now if we if we were working out the gradient using the equation we have uh, we learnt before, where the gradient of a line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals m. As you mentioned before in the previous videos, m is the value, is the uh, the letter that represents uh, the value of the gradient, of the gradient of a line. So let's plug in some numbers. So y2 in this case uh, is essentially y, and y1 in this case is c, so y minus c over x2 in this case is x and x1 x1 is 0 so x minus 0 equals m so now what we're going to do here as you can see we're we're close like we can see the the letters coming along we have all the letters we just need to do a bit of rearranging now so x minus 0 just becomes uh, x so uh, if we cross multiply the denominator with m so it becomes y minus c equals mx. Or if you wanted, you could have put brackets and x minus 0. But then m times 0 would just be 0. So y minus c equals mx. And finally, adding, C's, adding a c to both sides, y equals mx plus c. So now, so this is the derivation. and Essentially, what we have done is we have generated an equation that allows us to plot a line, a line similar to this, a straight line, of our desired gradient and y-intercept. And so, our desired gradient in this case is m. So, the gradient in y equals mx plus c equals m. And the y-intercept, where where the line, where the straight line which you have created intersects the y-axis, which is called the y-intercept, is in this case c. So now let's see what we can do. But before, actually, instead, before we see what we can do, let's look at another equation of a line. This is called the general equation of a line. So uh, now we've cleared the space. So the general equation of a line. Let's write this here. The general equation of a line uh, is written as ax plus by plus c equals zero. Now what is this? This is the general equation of a line. This is how equations of a line are usually written. They're commonly written as this. They wouldn't always give you as y equals mx plus c Rather, to test you, they'll give it in this form. So how do we find out the gradient and the y-intercept from this equation? Well, with a bit of rearranging, if we put the, if we make the y on the left-hand side and the a and ax and the plus c on the right-hand side, uh, we get by equals minus ax, because we were putting it to the other side, minus c. And so y equals minus a over b, x minus c over a. So in this case, sorry, minus c over b, because we have divided uh, this side by b. We have divided both sides by b. So now the gradient in this case is minus a over b, which is the coefficient of x, and the y intercept is minus c 
or with B. So now let's look at an example where this actually happened. So here's the example. So the question asks us, find the gradient and y-intercept of the following equations. So here we have both equations in the form of the general equation of a line. So, now that they, so what they want us to do is they want us to rearrange uh, this general equation and put it in the form of y equals mx plus c, where we can work out the gradient and y-intercept. So, 8y minus 3x plus 2. We want the y on the left hand side and the rest of the uh, numbers and letters on the right hand side. So 8y uh, minus 3x equals minus 2. So in this case we put the uh, 2 to the other side. Now 8y equals minus 2 plus 3x or in other words 8y equals 3x minus 2. Now we're halfway there. y equals 3 over 8 minus 2 over 8. So 3 over 8x. And so now we know the gradient is 3 over 8 and the y-intercept is 2 over 8. Or in other words, y equals 3 over 8x minus a quarter, simplifying 2 over 8. For the second equation, uh, let's write this here, 4x minus 2y plus 6 equals 0. So we'll uh, keep the y on this side. Or in fact, if you want to be quicker, uh, you can put the y on this side and everything else will be on this side. So 4x plus 6 equals 2y. Divide this both sides by 2. So divide this by 2 and this by 2. Uh, these 2's cancel out. This becomes 2x plus 3 equals y. So the equation is y equals 2x plus 3. Now this seems way easier to plot. If you were given a, uh, if you were given a graph to plot, it would be way easier uh, to plot this, uh, y equals mx plus c, than plotting this. And to prove it, I'll show you. So I've casually just uh, pasted it uh, on top of the example and everything. Um, so let's plot the line in red so we know which equation we're talking about. So it says 2x plus 3. So the gradient is 2. So for every 1 it goes across, it's going 2 up. And it crosses at plus 3. So it's going to cross here. So start at 3. And for every 2, for every 1 you go across, you go 2 up. And that's about it. So uh, we can continue this line. And it goes on and on and on. As long as you have the gradient right, hopefully. So it crosses, this, uh, this line crosses at uh, 3 as the y-intercept. So y equals 2x plus 3, where it crosses the y-axis at 3 with a gradient of 2. And so that's the lesson for today. Sorry for the uh, messy ending here. Uh, so if you find these videos useful, please subscribe. Uh, give your ratings for the comment. Uh, give your ratings by liking the video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please do ask in the comment section below or message me through my channel. Uh, if you find my videos useful, uh, then check out my other videos if you have any problems with those. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.